2020 was entirely out of syllabus, as we were simply not prepared for it and it had no mercy for us all. Humans are suffering all around the globe, inflation is on peak and people are looking for jobs that they can do sitting at home without going out and putting their lives at risk. We have 10 best jobs that you can do in 2020 sitting at home without going out. For starters, most white collar jobs today in the United States and other countries only require internet access. Being in the office isn't as necessary when you can email, chat and join video conferences anywhere in the world. With high speed internet and a video connection, many jobs don't require you to be there in person. Full time and part time jobs that require you to be in an office physically are phasing out and becoming less relevant with time. Second, we live in a world of convenience and more people are staying home these days. All it takes is an internet connection and you can order food, stream Netflix, order products with Amazon 2R delivery and enjoy modern conveniences most couldn't dream of a few decades ago. I believe the days aren't far when anyone can work from home or any virtual location of their choosing with a VR headset and apps like Virtual Desktop and Altspace VR. The most important thing to do while doing online jobs is to have self-confidence and the ability to learn without giving up. Do you have an eye for visual aesthetics? If yes, then you can leap into design consultancy jobs. The best part is that having a formal degree is not a barrier in this field when you are independent. Your creative insight and ability to self-educate can make you grow by leaps and bounds. Design consultants can work in several domains. Just like content, you can't space web design either. Every page on the internet requires UX and design. That's the reason why this job is so popular among freelancers. Your work as a website design consultant includes analyzing a website's design and determining how it can be improved visually to increase conversion. Once you start growing and start to get more clients, you can even expand your solo work from home gig to a virtual web design agency, increasing your pay ranges. If you are adept at using various Photoshop and Illustrator tools and have an innate sense of creativity, then you shouldn't think twice before foraying into graphic design. However, to be a consultant, your technical knowledge alone isn't enough. You should also have extensive experience in client and project management. That said, you don't require a diploma or a degree in graphic design to pursue this career. You can do well enough by educating yourself at home by taking up credible online courses. Foraying into freelance interior design consulting has several upsides, but it requires a lot of work. Your job as a freelancer interior design consultant is pretty much the same as a regular consultant. To get your name out there in the market, you can use platforms like House, where millions go to find interior design advice and inspiration. With so many businesses operating mostly or even completely online, it's no wonder that many hire virtual assistants to help keep them organized and complete administrative tasks. According to the International Virtual Assistance Association, these workers are independent contractors who, from a remote location, usually their home or office, support multiple clients in a variety of industries by providing administrative, creative and technical services. Although virtual assistant jobs vary drastically, tasks can include composing and responding to emails, creating and distributing business-related documents, responding to media and business inquiries, writing and creative content, and much more. Check out virtual assistant jobs at sites such as Upwork.com and Zirtual.com. While pay varies, 
Virtual assistants average around $27,000 a year with the top percentage making $43,000. However, what you'll earn depends on who you work for and the level of skill required for your daily tasks. Although many medical transcriptionists work for hospitals or physicians' offices, most are able to work at home and at a time or place of their choosing. Since their tasks involve transcribing recorded medical dictation, a computer, desk and earpiece are generally the only requirements after completing a post-secondary medical transcriptionist program. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, or BLS, medical transcriptionists earned a national median wage of $35,000 in May 2018, or $16.72 an hour. Although many medical transcriptionists are self-employed, many find jobs through their local hospital, physician, or community college, or vocational school. Most translators do their work at home and often under tight deadlines. Although some need a bachelor's degree, the most important requirement for translators is, of course, fluency in at least two languages. According to a latest report, around 22% of translators were self-employed in 2018. The majority was spread among these industries, professional, scientific, and technical services 33%, state, local and private educational services 18%, hospitals 8% and finally government another 8%. The national median wage for this career was around $49,000 although the top 10% of workers earned an average of $90,000. It's fairly easy to build your own website if you take advantage of the many free learning opportunities online. However, much of the population isn't equipped to build their own site or don't have the time, which is why so many people make a living building websites and blogs for others. According to the BLS, around 16% of web developers were self-employed in 2018, with the vast majority able to work at home or anywhere with a laptop and speedy internet connection. Even better, the national median wage for web developers was $69,000 in 2018, with the top 10% earning an average of $124,000. And you typically don't need an advanced degree to begin working in this field. All you need is some post-secondary education, applicable experience, and a portfolio of successful sites you've built and managed. There are even intensive coding boot camps designed to teach programming skills in just a few short months. Now more than ever, writers are needed to formulate news articles, create content and come up with creative ideas that fill the pages of nearly every site on the internet. Although many bigger sites have in-house writers, a growing number of sites outsource their content and hire freelance writers and content creators. Writing experience is very helpful, but what you really need to get started are drive, ambition and the ability to find a unique angle on events that happen every day. Sites like Upwork.com list online freelancing positions as does Freelancer.com and Media Bistro. To get hired, you likely need to have a portfolio of solid work or at least some writing samples you can include with your resume. While writing fees vary depending on the job and the freelancer, many writers earn at least $150 per article and some earn up to $1500 per finished piece. Almost every big business has gotten on the social media bandwagon as a means to reach their customers directly and without paying heavily for television, print or radio ads. But not every big business has someone to manage their social media accounts, which is why more individuals have begun marketing themselves as social media managers and helping businesses grow their online following and expand their reach. Although very little data is available for this work-at-home job since it is relatively new, 
Thousands of listings for social media managers can be found on sites like careerbuilder.com, simplyhire.com, and upwork.com. If you have a demonstrated command of social media and a sizable following, you might even be able to get started by reaching out to companies directly and asking if they need help. According to Glassdoor, social media managers average $50,000 a year. Do you have a hobby, a passion or an interesting life? Are you knowledgeable about something many people struggle with? If so, you might want to start a blog, a podcast, a vlog or be active on one of the major social media networks. Sometimes it could take years to build a big enough, engaged enough audience, but if you're already used to sharing with people online and have an audience that trusts you, it might be worth treating it as a business. As your audience grows, you'll be able to sell them services like coaching or consulting and even products. But you'll also be able to make a living by recommending other people's products and getting a sponsorship or commission in return. Many businesses need workers who can answer the phone at all hours, assist customers and process orders or deal with returns. But since more businesses are operating online, a growing number of these jobs are going to customer service workers who work at home. Being an at-home call center rep requires a computer and may require specific software or equipment. A great phone voice helps as well as does any experience in customer service, data entry, retail sales or management. Dozens of sites list job openings for call center representatives including Upwork.com, Freelancer.com and SimplyHire.com. However, you may also find listings offered by local businesses in your local newspaper. A search engine optimization or SEO specialist analyzes, reviews and implements changes to websites so they are optimized for search engines. This means maximizing the traffic to a site by improving page rank within search engines. Simply put, in the words of SEO.com, it is the job of the SEO specialist to make your website show up at the top of the search engine results. Ten years ago, that job looked a lot different than it does now and it requires a whole new skill set from what was needed back then. A modern specialist must be a problem solver and decision maker with the ability to prioritize and develop relevant and engaging content. You know the old adage, content is king? Well, modern SEO specialists know that search engines are placing increasing value on quality content, which will invariably include keyword or phrases that increases traffic to a site. They may also test and implement testing various search engine marketing techniques, website layouts and advertising for search engine optimization. They also know the importance of internal links and the ability to problem solve comes in handy when trying to find the best locations and the best approach to internal links. An SEO specialist will analyze websites for improvements, have an in-depth knowledge of keyword research, understand SEO copywriting and serve a liaison between various departments. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon. We have more interesting content for you on our channel, so don't forget to check out our other videos.